we'll answer them afterwards. So, welcome back. Um, welcome back to this week's episode of Getting Tipsy with Erin. And again, this week on TAP, we're talking about getting serious about home buying, and we're in week two. So, getting serious about home buying and getting pre approved. Um, if you've been thinking about home ownership and house hunting, and that's been on your mind, then tune in. Um, and tune in for the rest of the month of February because that's what we're talking about this month every Thursday. So um, I like to tell, tell, call this getting serious because without a pre-approval, um, you're not ready to start house hunting um, or write an offer. So I, I promise that getting pre-approved isn't as scary as it sounds. It's actually going to help you start the home buying process on the right foot and be more confident because you'll know what loan options best for you. Um, you'll know what you can realistically afford. Um, you won't get caught looking at things that you can't afford and then get disappointed. And um, you'll know how much money you need to put down and you'll have everything ready. So when you do find that right house, um, you will be ready to purchase it and in today's market um, everything's going quickly so you don't have a lot of time to um, pivot and adjust you do have to kind of be ready to go on the fly make that offer have that pre-approval letter in hand um, and move forward um, and sellers aren't going to wait for you to make adjustments to your credit or or get pre-approved or go through the process um, and getting pre-approved does not take a long time um, but it could be that extra day or two where other people are already pre-approved and they're gonna have the house under contract. Um, if you are currently looking or you have been looking, you will know that um, houses right now, a lot of houses are going on the market and they're under contract the same day they're going on the market. So, um, so first, what does it mean to get pre-approved and why is it important? Um, getting pre-approved means you've submitted the required information and documentation to a lender who is going to run your credit and verify um, the documentation to approve you for a specific loan amount. And um, stuff you have to approve is like, or information you have to give is proof of income, um, employment verification, your credit score, and your social security number. Um, these lenders are all fiduciary, so it's not like you're just giving your social security number to the guy walking down the street. Um, they are, it's all secure information. They can't share your information with other people. Um, so don't, you don't have to worry about that. Also, just as an FYI, um, and if there's any lenders on here, please tell me if I'm wrong, because I think this is the right number. But if you have um, your credit pulled for for a mortgage inquiry it is it's a small hit on your credit because it is a hard inquiry um, but um, you can actually have it done I believe it's 10 times within 30 days um, for the mor mortgage purpose with it only being one ding so if you are gonna shop for mortgage um, do it all at the same time like don't do one this month and then go talk to another lender next month. Um, sit down and spend some time and talk to a couple lenders within the same week um, so you don't get dinged, you know, four or five different times over a six month period. Um, I believe it's 10. And again, I, I'll comment below, I'll, I'll verify that, but I think it's 10. It's at least six, but I almost positive it's 10. Um, so uh, it's important that you'll you'll need a pre-approval in order to write uh, an offer because most sellers, and I know as a listing agent, like I, if I get a contract and it doesn't have a pre-approval, that's the first thing I say is I need a pre-approval. Um, and we won't even negotiate a contract without a pre-approval. Um, I always call the lender and verify that this, this buyer is well qualified um, and just ask some questions. Um, so if you're not presenting a pre-approval letter with your offer, they're going to consider the other offers. So that's important. Um, it's also important so you know what your monthly expenses are going to be based on a specific loan amount. Um, and there's a, lot, there's a lot of things that go in to that amount. 
Um, if you are shopping your loan, this is very important. So if you take anything from this, if you are shopping your loan, please make sure you have someone, an unbiased opinion, and I'm happy to do it for you. Um, have someone sit down that knows what they're looking at um, and can look at the different, your different um, monthly payment sheets and your different cash to close sheets and compare what they're telling you your monthly payment is gonna be and what your different cash to close sheets are gonna be. Um, I Really interesting. Um, I had someone to um, do an online application um, with a lender that I told them not to do. Um, hi, Wayne. Good to see you. Um, I had someone do an online application with a national lender, and I'll get into that in a second too. Um, and they came back and they said, oh, we're pre-approved up to, I think it was like 750000 which was way above what the local lender had said they were pre-approved for. And it's going to be the same expense as our current house and blah, blah, blah. And so I asked them for what their monthly payment was and it was their current payment. And then I asked them for a cash flow sheet and they didn't have that. And so I called um, the lender on the sheet and I got through to someone. They gave me a cash to close sheet, which was, they were going to have to bring twice the amount to the table as the local lender, which they didn't have. And when I asked for the breakdown of the monthly payment, it did not include taxes and insurance or mortgage insurance. And so their monthly payment was actually about $1,250 more than what they thought it was. Um, so had they gone to write um, based on what that pre-approval was, they wouldn't have been able to afford that house. Um, so sit down, have someone, again, soapbox moment, but if you're shopping lenders, um, have someone that knows knows what they're looking at, compare those and make sure that you're comparing apples to apples. Um, lenders do call things different things, um, but anyone in the real estate world will be able to sit and look and, and compare them and make sure that they're right. So that's my soapbox moment. If that's the one thing you take, if you're shopping lenders, make sure you're comparing apples to apples when you're looking at cash to close sheets and your monthly payment and make sure you're looking at them accurately. So it's important to know what your monthly expenses are going to be. Um, and also know that you're often not going to want to spend what your max amount is um, on your pre-approval. You will find out you may be approved for $500,000 home. But you also may find that that monthly payment is twice what you're comfortable paying in your mortgage. Um, so that's when you say to the lender, that's, that's great that I'm approved to pay that much, but what I want to pay is this much a month. So what is that in my mortgage? What is that for my sales price? Um, and, and they can give you that number. And so that's what we'll look for when we're searching for your house as opposed to what you're actually pre-approved for. So you wanna figure out those numbers, and so that's important. And you wanna figure that out first, instead of looking at houses, and then and then just kind of shooting in a barrel and not knowing what you're looking at. Um, so what happens if I start house hunting prior to getting pre-approved? Um, so again, I don't, I wouldn't ever take someone house hunting before getting pre-approved, just because of that fact. Um, I have a list of, of trusted lending partners that I team up with, um, and I help get my buyers pre-approved because, A, I don't want them doing it alone, um, and I want them to know it's someone I trust, and I want them to know it's not scary, it's not intimidating, and I want someone that will help them. Um, I want them to know their price range. I don't want anyone to go into a home, fall in love with it, and then we go to get pre-approved and they're not approved for it. Cause how devastating is that? Um, and as, as emotional as the house hunting process can be, you don't want to be devastated um, by not being approved by something. And you don't want to be frustrated. Um, so let's get you pre-approved and, and then we can start the search. Um, Another part of it is um, you want to have your credit run. And the reason why is if you haven't had your credit run recently, there could be something on there that you're just not aware of. It may not be a big deal, but it may need to be repaired. 
Um, and, and the issue with that is those repairs, they can take um, 30 or sometimes 60 or sometimes 90 days um, to actually get cleared and repaired. Um, because your credit, it has to be re-reported before they show up. Um, so if we were to go find a house, write a contract on it, then you get pre-approved, then we find out there's an issue on your credit, but now we have to delay because you have this issue on your credit, so you can't get, you can't get your loan underwritten, now you lose the house, and that's devastating. So let's get you pre-approved, have your credit run, find out if there's an issue, get that adjusted, then we'll start the process. Again, just trying to eliminate those issues so we don't have those, we're trying to make the process easy, I guess. Um, and again, just imagine if you skip the step only to fall in love with the house, become emotionally attached to it, and then realize it's either out of your price range or you have to do all this other stuff and then you're going to lose the house. Um, so figuring it out in advance, um, then we'll start your home search with confidence and you'll be set up for success. Um, you'll also be able to take the time to find the lender and the mortgage company that you're comfortable with and understand all of your options so you don't feel rushed. Um, you are gonna work just like you work hand in hand with your realtor, you're gonna work hand in hand with your lender and with their team. These are people you're gonna talk to a lot and you want it to be someone that you, you jive with, you gel with. Um, you don't want it to be someone that you just dread having to talk to and is not on the same you know, wavelength as you. So let's figure that out and make sure again that you're, you have a good relationship with them. Um, Cause you want the process to be fun and enjoyable. Um, I guess my second soapbox of today, this is a good one. I like there's two lessons in today, two big lessons today. The second one is that you are going to, um, I want you to use a local lender. And I say this to everyone. Um, you have national lenders and you have local lenders. Um, in most cases, your local lenders are paid on commission, like realtors are. Your national lenders are paid on salary. Um, and your local lenders are going to do everything they need to do and they can do to fight for you to get your loan underwritten and closed and on time because that's how they get fed and that's how they feed their families. Um, your national lenders, you are a number, you are a file, you call a 1-800 number and when you call, you punch in your file number and they open it up and it's this person that's never met you, never known you, they pull it up and they look at what the process is and they can care less whether you get to move into your house on time or not um, because they're gonna make their, you know, whatever it is a day they make, regardless of whether you get your house underwritten or not. So second soapbox moment of the day is use a local lender, don't use a national lender. Um, again, I have a list of some great local lenders that I'd be happy to share with you. Um, get pre-approved ahead of time you know, again, shop the rate, shop the product that's right for you, talk to someone that can see your whole picture and figure it out. So first step of the process, let's get serious, let's get you pre-approved. Um, and then that's our first step. So week two, um, today, first time home buyers, let's get serious, let's get you pre-approved um, and get all of the no buyer's remorse, all the unwanted surprises out of the way. Um, once you're officially pre-approved, the house hunting can begin, and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in next week's episode. So next week's episode, getting tipsy with Aaron on Thursday. I think four o'clock's a good time, so we're gonna stick with it. Um, I'm gonna share what you need to know um, about how the process works and how I can set up a custom home search for you once we have you pre-approved. We'll set up a custom home search for you um, again, next Thursday, 4 p.m., tune back in. And if you missed it, again, I'll post it here and I'll post it on IGTV. Um, so thanks for tuning in to live. 
Um, if you have any specific questions about the pre-approval process or you want me to share my list of trusted lender partners, let me know. Send me a DM, comment below, um, set your timers for next Thursday, and thanks for tuning in. See you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.